द क्वेश्चन सेज एन ओ टू एन एन टू ओ फोर आर टू फॉर्म्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन डाई ऑक्साइड वन एग्जिस्ट इन गैसेस स्टेट वाइल अदर इज प्रेजेंट इन लिक्विड स्टेट द नेचर ऑफ एन ओ टू एज वेल एज एन टू ओ फोर फॉर्म्स आर पैरा मैग्नेटिक या डाई मैग्नेटिक क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मालिक्यूल्स ओके टू डिटर्मिन पैरा मैग्नेटिक एज वेल एज डाई मैग्नेटिक ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड स्पीसीज स्पीसीज हैविंग इवन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन इवन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर डाय मैग्नेटिक बाई नेचर डाय मैग्नेटिक बाई नेचर ओके एंड स्पीसीज हैविंग ऑड नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑड नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर पैरा मैग्नेटिक बाई नेचर पैरा मैग्नेटिक बाई नेचर so we can calculate the number of electrons present in these molecules now pay attention carefully we have no2 no2 total number of electrons we can calculate the atomic number of nitrogen is 7 and each oxygen is what 8 and there are two oxygen multiply by 2 7 plus 16 and then we get a 23 7 6 uh, it will be 13 it will be there we get a 23 you can see odd number of electrons are there Total number of electrons in NO2 we are getting what 23. That is odd numbers. Means it has one unpaired electrons. Okay, unpaired electron is there. And if it is having odd number of electrons, means it will be paramagnetic by nature. And when we talk about N2O4, N2O4 are there. So two nitrogen, each nitrogen is seven, and four oxygen, each oxygen is what eight. The atomic number of oxygen is eight. We can simplify. Seven two is a fourteen plus eight four is a thirty two is there. Total we are getting forty six. You can see we are getting even numbers. Means N two O four having even number of electrons. Hence it will be diamagnetic by nature. Okay. So we have N O two paramagnetic by nature, and N two O four is diamagnetic by nature. So we have N O two is paramagnetic by nature, while N two O four is diamagnetic by nature. Okay, option C is correct. But always keep in mind that this condition is not always correct. Okay, it is not always true. Okay, and you can answer this question by drawing the structure also. Pay attention carefully. We have N O two. Okay, we have N O two. We can draw the structure. Nitrogen has how many valence electrons? It has a uh, five valence electrons. Okay, one electron, two electrons, and total five val valence electrons are there. Oxygen can form how many bond? Two bond. So we attach one oxygen over here. Okay, one more oxygen is left. It has uh, how many valence electrons? Six. If it gains uh, two more electrons, its octet will be complete. So what happens? It donates electron. Density to oxygen, so this is what coordinate bond because electron pair is moving from nitrogen to oxygen. Now we can see it has one unpaired electron. That's why it is paramagnetic by nature. Paramagnetic by nature. Okay, it has one unpaired electron. You can see one unpaired electron is there. Now if we talk about N two O four, we have N two O four. We can draw the structure. Two nitrogens are there, so we have nitrogen linkage. One nitrogen and second nitrogen, okay. And each nitrogen has one lone pair because out of five valence electrons, nitrogen can form only three bond. One lone pair will be there. How many oxygen? Four oxygen. We can distribute. I attach one oxygen here, one oxygen here via double bond. Now two more oxygen are left, okay. So we have one oxygen. It is having how many valence electrons? Six. So it donates electron density, forming coordinate bond. Here also you can see it is donating one electron density. No, sorry, electron density of two electron, forming coordinate bond with another oxygen. So this is the structure of N two O four. Okay. Now you can see nitrogen is forming how many bond? Total one, two, three, four. Four bond it is forming. But it does not have any unpaired electrons. All the electrons are used in the bond formation. All the electrons are used in the bond formation. Hence, we can say it does not have any unpaired electrons. 
we can say it is diamagnetic by nature diamagnetic by nature if any electron is left which does not participate in the bond formation then we can say it is paramagnetic by nature but it does not have any electron left okay in this case one electron is left then hence it is paramagnetic by nature okay uh, one more thing as i said this condition is not always true sbc is having any one number of electrons will always be paramagnetic by nature it is not correct okay pay attention carefully sbc is having 10 electron 16 electron or 32 electron you can consider as exception okay exception you can consider exception sbc is having even number of electron they are supposed to be diamagnetic but they are paramagnetic by nature paramagnetic by nature always keep in mind any species having the electron in this range 10 electrons 16 electrons or 32 electrons they have even number of electron but still they are paramagnetic by nature for example let's say if i talk about oxygen gas oxygen molecule is there calculate the total number of electrons 2 multiplied by each oxygen is what 8 16 electron is there it has even number of it is supposed to be diamagnetic but no it is paramagnetic by nature because here we have 16 electron if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel